matron take them away. Okay, boys and girls, um, here we are again. Got visitors in the background, so you have to sort of ignore the noise because uh, the pair of them just yap like there's no tomorrow. But are the charts yapping? We're about to find out. Uh, I've just literally gone into market on the DAX and I've done it for Danny. So it's a little salute to Danny in the Scruffy Squad because he mentioned it in our. Zoom call this morning that he was looking at it and we didn't get an opportunity to fully dive in in the call so what I did was I, I made a video of what I believe the chart is going to do and now I'm going to trade it because I always believe I should back up what I say and if you haven't been here before I am big scruff and I'm trying to put trading in the real world maybe show you a trick or two along the way if you're easily offended then um, maybe this channel is not for you because I have a tendency to swear a lot. I don't give a monkey's what I say and you either like it or you don't. And if you do like it, do hit the subscribe button. Genuinely helps motivates me to do more and we'll bash on. So let's flick this over so you can kind of see the chart. That is there coming into play. Uh, now what I have done is if I pull this down is in the discord I've already told the guys what I'm doing which is here there is a full breakdown inside of that and not only is there a full breakdown it's how I intend to trade this so it's not a signal service it's a guide for things to look at it's a good discord you're very welcome to come along um, you'll find links for everything I do down in the description. So if you want a good broker, you'll find Black Bull, you'll find IG, the ones that I use. Uh, you'll also find the five percenters, which is the prop that I use. So what else? Now, in the call this morning that I did on the news, which I do every morning where I'll tell you the news and I'll also show you the strongest and weakest currency of the day to give you a watch list in a basket. I said I was going to trade the Aussie dollar, this one, and I was looking to get it into in and around this area. Well, job's done, it's paid me, got my money walked. So I'm pretty happy with what's going on. Each one of them calls so far has produced pretty much a decent trade every time and even yesterday I said I was going to be trading the Euro New Zealand which is here had to wait a little bit for it said it was going to sell off and surely enough it did um, Euro New Zealand there it is there there's the marks these are everything that I did for the guys had to weather a little bit of heat on it fair enough then it collapsed exactly into where I've marked on the chart Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, the principle is we're looking for a long trade up into this blue line here. Okay, now I'm only edging in slowly with it because one, I've been paid very well and it's also the top of a high run. So what I'm going to do is I'm starting here with an expectation to get here, but I'm going to sort of take trades as it gets down here into these levels and then sort of build a position back up into it that's that's my game plan and from there we'll just see what's going on so where did this come from well it came from higher up in the chart as you can see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play this trade out and then i'll come back to you at the end of the video and i'll tell you a little bit more about where this is and how it's sort of stacked up in the grand scheme of things
Okay, guys, uh, I stopped out. Am I worried? Not really. It's done pretty much what I wanted it to do. I was right to take money off the table because I had a feeling it was going to reverse somewhat. Now, these reversals do come in regular. And all right, the stop might have been a little bit tight, but it's Friday. I don't want to hold this trade. And I've been paid very well. Now, I staged it back into these levels. I was actually prepared to go right the way down to here, but I didn't think I needed to. This was the cluster point I was interested in. Picked up the orders, shot away, paid quite well, and how horrible is that? A tick, and it shot away, but it's what we do. But if we look at this collectively, it's paid me all right, you know? Over a hundred quid for, well, 25 minutes work. I can live with a hundred quid every 25 minutes. I really can. Now, when I was looking at this, and I'm looking at this daily chart here, I can see it's pulsed down, it's pulsed up, and then it's collapsed down here. Now, what this has shown me is there's a mass amount of sellers, but all of this pressure here is big upward pressure in a singular direction. So we had indecision here, but it was green, telling us that the tipping point was probably to the buy side. We also had a key level to work off. And then yesterday was a mass amount of volume pushing high, big tail, small tail. So the dominance is to the upper side. You, you add into the mix that it stalled on this level and then moved forward. Right, okay. This is a good premise to the upper side. Now, we can also look at how a fib is made up. And I know some people think it's black magic, but there is a strong directional drive with an impulse drive, smashing through the 23, cracked a key level, came to 38, its logical point is coming to the 50. The 50, if we look to the left, is where it's tested before, and it's a key line. So we then just think, okay, we work into the 50, we've got plenty of room to get there, be conservative. So how do you be conservative? You go down through a multi-time analysis, we can see the move here, there's a, there's a lovely move there, so we're gonna just take that away just so we can see that move. And now you can see the makeup of how this is going to play out. Strong drive, consolidation, move. If the move is coming up into the 50, which is here, look to the left. And again, it's a cluster point where it's been before. And if we run this through, it's a testing zone. See where it's all probed before, here, here, and here. So between these areas is where the market will test. So you don't really want to be outstaying your welcome. So how do you work that up? Very, very simple. Well, if I know it's gonna test up there, down to here, play the easy card and come in on the bottom before it gets to this level. And that's what I've done. Um, and then just play on this. Take it back to 15 minute and you can see it playing out. There it is there. Chances are it's gonna hit this but it's Friday, it's Friday morning. I kind of want to have the rest of the day off. And I've got a lot of work to do in the house because I want to get the office finished. And that's it. So 25 minutes work, well paid. Uh, looked at Aussie dollar before I went to market. Told you guys exactly what I was going to do in that. That was public as well at around 7.30 this morning. That came into play. And of course, the New Zealand that you saw me call yesterday. Took a bit of time to play out, but it also came into play. So what's the moral here? Do your homework, guys. You can't just rock up to a chart and think it's going to pay you. If you do your homework and you can see what you're doing and why you're doing it, then you're in with a chance. You know, if you're just rocking up at the chart and praying to God you can find a trade, you have got no chance. 
simple stuff. So as, as always, I'm very easy found. I do speak to everybody. You're welcome to come along to the Discord. What I will say about the Discord is I've recently shut down the Telegram because of scammers and people impersonating me. Um, there was a little element of that came into the Discord this week, so we've changed it around a little bit. You're welcome to come, but you will need to verify yourself. And I can see who you are. So if you are a scamming little twat, don't come in because one, I'll publicly shame you because I've had enough of these scamming swines and then I'll kick you out. But first of all, everybody's going to know who you are. So just be aware. I'm trying to make the Discord safe and if it continues, sadly the Discord's going to get shut down as well. Uh, simply because I've got no time for scammers and that includes the dickheads that come in. So if you're a sarcastic toss pot and you're going to have a pop at people and it gets closed, look in the mirror and that's why it'll shut. I've got no time for people like that and the Discord takes up a tremendous amount of my time. So I need to see it being used and if it's not being used, there's no point of being there because I'm not going to sit here for hours just waiting for on the off chance and then the person that does do it is a dickhead. So I know it sounds a bit mean and a bit horrid, but it's been a bit rough this week. And the guys will, will testament that there have been some horrible people. And basically, I can't allow my name to be associated with somebody that's ripping you off. I'll never ask for investment. I'll never message you directly telling you to look at a broke or anything like that. You get any message like that, email info at the scruffytrader.com with the details and I'll deal with it and I'll shut it down because I'm spending days upon days shutting scammers down. So hopefully in my small way, I can make this world a better place. So as always guys, trade well, keep your risk managed, but above all, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.